everybody, we are back here, another episode of Universe Mode, WWE 2K18. We are less than six days away from the SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view backlash. We're going to be talking about that more in the next episode of SmackDown. We're going to get right on into Monday Night Raw's action this evening from New Mexico. Well, we, again, obviously, we are going to start things off this evening with some women's division action. If you guys remember last week during Dana Brooks... Uh, championship celebration Nia Jax came out and confronted the new champ saying that she's going to take the title away from Dana but sorted out after the show went off air that Edge is putting her in a triple threat match this evening if Dan Nia Jax can defeat the two opponents she has in this matchup coming up in mere moments she will be added to the match, I believe it will be at Clash of Champions against Dana Brooke, and Bailey still has her rematch. We're gonna find out if Bailey's gonna use it at Night of Champions or save it for another time. But it's a possibility that will be a triple threat match for the Roman's Championship. So Nijax in the ring. We're gonna see who she's going to have to defeat to earn that opportunity. Right, and someone we haven't seen in a while is Paige. So I haven't seen much of her lately on Monday Night Raw, but giving her a chance here as well as the next person to come out. You know what, we're going to step up the stipulation. If Nia Jax wins, she's obviously going to be added. She's going to get the chance at Night of Champions against Dana Brooke. But if either Paige or whoever else is in this matchup win the match instead, they will be added. So either way, it's going to be a triple threat match. In Nia's case, she'd prefer her to, herself to win, obviously. But you know, this might be an opportunity for Paige. And we're going to see who else is going to get that opportunity now. All right. Okay, by the sound of things, it is, oh, yep, it is going to be Summer Rae. We also haven't seen much of her in Universe Mode. So, both of these two women looking to pretty much upset Nijax in this matchup and earn a shot at the Raw Women's Championship. So, we're going to see how this plays out. Again, triple threat rules, no disqualification. Just about anything goes. Right, Nia Jax by the ropes. Paige goes right after her side rushing leg sweep. Summer Ray already taunting as if she celebrated. Paige going right after her. And oh, German Suplex just flinging Summer Ray almost into Jax. Dropkick not knocking down Nia. Paige misses that elbow. Big right hands. Splash in the corner, turning her attention to Summer Rae, knocking her down with a knee. And a drop kick. Nia Jax already making her mark on this matchup. Paige tossed out of the ring like a rat doll. Shoulder tackle to Summer Rae, Nia Jax. It's proving why she feels that she needs to be in this match at Night of Champions at the end of the month. Nia Jax the only one in the ring. We're going to take a commercial break and return back to this women's division action. Monday Night Raw's triple threat match is still underway. Nia Jax was down for the first time in this match. Taken down from a top rope. Perkin around a by page. Nia rolls out. Summer Rae thrown into the corner. And she gets tossed or knocked over as she tosses Paige. Summer Rae waiting on the apron, waiting for her moment. Paige tossed out of the ring again. Summer Rae still waiting on the outside. Nia Jax, Fireman's carry. Into the pin. That might already be it. One, two, and no, Summer Rae somehow kicks out. Big right hand knocking right down. Paige 
onto the apron. Reverses the right forearm. Oh, some chops right to the chest. Nia Jax dominating both of these women. Big right hand to Summer once again, knocking her down. Page gets her first there. Arm drag. Just throwing Nia down by the hair. This is Paige's chance. Applying pressure to arm. Nia trying to get out. Summer Rae not in the ring yet. She gets back in, but Nia gets out in time on her own. Right now backing off, letting Summer and Paige go at it. Nia running into both of them. Off the ropes. Drop to hold, knocking Nia down. She rolls out of the ring. This is Summer's big chance cover on page one. Now when Paige gets out. That'll be real upset probably of the series. If Summer could get out of this matchup with a victory. And Nia going for a Samoan drop. I see the replay again. Picks Paige up, slams her down. Knocks Summer right down with the shoulder tackle cover on Paige. One, two, three. No, Paige just kicks out. Nia Jax just stalking Summer Ray, waiting for her to get up. Picks her up another fireman's carry. And slams her down into the pin, middle of the ring. Paige is unconscious, not even moving. One, two, three, and that is it. Nia Jax gets her chance at Dana Brooke in the Raw Women's Championship. Paige and Summer put up a bit of a fight each, but it was not enough for the dominant force known as Nia Jax. Dana Brooke has to be careful, and if I was Bailey, I would not use my rematch yet, but you never know. It might be a triple threat match. We'll find out in the next week or two. We're going to move on to our main event here momentarily as we see some of the highlights. Nia Jax is going to Night of Champions at the end of the month to face Dana Brooke for the Raw Women's Championship, and we're going to move on to our main event now. Looks like the drifter is on the loose once again, but this time on Monday Night Raw. If you guys are enjoying the episode so far, if you want to leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, what your favorite part of the episode is or was. Give a like on this video, share all that fun stuff. We'll get to that at the end of the video though, but for the main event, it'll be some tag team action. Raw, a Raw Tag Team Champions Golden Truth on their way to the ring. You guys remember Monday Night Raw last week? It was the beginning of the Superstar Shakeup, which is still going to be here and there. There's going to be people debuting on either Raw or SmackDown. But new threat in the tag team division in the Usos, who picked up a dominant victory in the Raw debut. So the Golden Truth want to prove that they are the dominant tag team here in the Raw Women's Division. Raw tag team division, not women's division. So we kind of stuck with stuff with earlier in the show with the women's triple threat match, but our truth and Goldust wanting to remain at the top of the tag team division. Seeing as, as they do might be a goofy tandem, but they get, they've been getting the work done of late. So we're gonna see who they will be facing this evening. And it will be a tag team that we didn't see much of in universe mode up to this point again, but we're giving people chances. And it will be 
the clones primo and epico and if you guys remember 2k 17 universe mode which again this is a continuation of more or less they were the lowest matadores been on raw they haven't really won a match i don't believe but looking to pick up a win over the tag champs So they are going to look and upset Goldust and our truth We're going to let their entrance fully play out since we haven't seen them yet in universe mode all that much. Right, so again, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And we're going to get into this action and again it will be sort of redemption for the golden truth having lost to the Usos in the Usos Raw debut. Again, keep mentioning that. R Truth starting things off against Epico. Again, the Usos looking to come to Raw and immediately dethrone R Truth and Goldust. This Epico reverses it. Big right hands from R Truth, though. Kicks against the ropes, another reversal. Spinning back fist doesn't connect. That spinning heel kick does though. Our truth in a bit of trouble. Big clothesline from our truth. Gets that momentum right back. Step up into Gary from our truth. Makes the tag to the veteran gold dust. Crowd into this matchup already. Chanting for gold dust and our truth. All right, Primo now the legal man. A little bit of a standoff there. Kick the midsection from Goldie. Combination knocking Primo down. Big clothesline knocking him out of the ring. Oh, and Epico just slingshotting gold dust. It's giving the clones a chance. Spike DDT. Is he gonna go for second rope? Calling for gold dust to get to his feet. And goes for from the top rope our truth in breaks it up partially knocks down his partner our truth going a little crazy there doesn't want to get counted out goldust trying to get control back and he's going to do so here reversing the vertical suplex big clothesline primo now in a predicament on the neck there And then probably good and bad that Golden Truth are tagged champs at the top of the mountain in the division, but they also have pretty much every single other tag team here on Raw looking to knock them off. And again, probably the biggest threat out of the rest of the division is the Usos, of course. And they proved it last week already defeating the champs. They could do it once, they could certainly do it again. Cologne's looking to make a tag, and they do. That's for a vertical suplex once again. Goldust gets out of it. Turns him around. Into the director's cut. Into the cover right in front of his brother. One, two, and he kicks out. Into the corner now. Splash in the corner to Epico. More stomps to the chest. Clones are in trouble again. Primo makes the tag now, the legal man. Oh, snap DDT. Goldust needs to make a tag to R-Truth. 
big clothesline from the veteran. Out onto the apron. Reversal sunset flip. Power bomb from Goldust. Ref is distracted. One, two, and, and a big reversal there. Clones just saved themselves. Picks them up. And gets out of the finisher. Goldust now the one in danger. R Truth with the distraction. Knocked off the apron. Truth back in though. Buying Goldust some time with the drop kick there. Goldie with the cover. One. Two, no, not even count of two there. Right, we're gonna take a break here in a second as Goldust and our truth are in control. Alright guys, welcome back to Raw's main event of the week. Tag champs the Golden Truth taking on the Colognes. Our truth in control at the moment of Epico. Him up. Hey, there we go. I haven't seen that from our truth in a while. Goes for the cover, and that's a rope break. Big right hands. Off the ropes. Our truth out of danger there. Quickly turning his attention to Epico, or to Primo rather. Our truth with the little Jimmy. That might be it. Golden Truth with the redemption and the victory. One, two, three. The tag champs regained some momentum after their loss last week to the newcomers and the Usos. Defeating the Cologne brothers who put up a fight but fell just short. Golden Truth making a statement to the Raw Women's to the Raw again did it again. Raw tag division, but specifically in the Usos. See some highlights from the matchup. Clones stood their ground for a bit. There was just not enough to defeat. Our truth and gold dust. That's going to conclude things here in the episode. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. We'll see everybody in the next video, which will be another episode of SmackDown Live.